Hey guys, Penguin Recordings here and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Dawn of War 2 on Ubuntu. We're going to be using Play on Linux for this since it is not a native game. So you're going to need a couple of things first. First off, you're going to need Play on Linux which is free and downloadable from their website playonlinux.com. I am using version 4.2.5. Alright. The second thing you're going to need is the Steam Setup.exe right here. So what it says is basically it's the Windows version of Steam, the installer at least. It's free, so you can get that from the Steam website. Now the last thing you're going to need is the latest version of Wine. Now you can get that by going into Play on Linux, clicking on Tools, and then clicking on Manage Wine Versions. So we're going to only be using the x86 here. Now you're going to want to select the latest version of Wine on the left and then you're going to click this uh, arrow button right here and once it's done installing it will appear on the right. So the latest that I have currently is 1.7.30 which is what we will be using in this video. Alright so without further ado let's get started. I'm going to click install. I'm going to click install a non-listed program down in the bottom left here. Alright, now I'm going to click Next. I'm going to click Install a Program in a New Virtual Drive. Now I'm going to click Next. This is the name of the drive. You can name it anything. I'm going to name it Steam Space Marine since this is just temporary for me. Click Next. We're going to tick Use Another Version of Wine and we're also going to tick Configure Wine. Click Next. Now here's where we select the version of Wine we want to use. We're going to be using the latest we can get our hands on, which at the time of this video is 1.7.30. If you have a newer version available to you, please use that instead. So let's click Next. We're going to use a 32-bit Windows installation. Regardless of whether your Linux distribution is 32-bit or 64-bit, we're going to be using 32-bit here. This is the Wine version. 64-bit Wine does not work well. Unless you're going for ex experimental stuff, please only use 32-bit. We're going to click Next. Now it's going to take a couple of seconds. In a moment, we're going to set the resolution of the window. All right, so we're going to leave it at Windows XP down here. Now we're going to go to the Graphics tab. And now we're going to tick Emulate a Virtual Desktop. Now you can set the resolution to anything you want. I'm going to be setting it to 1600 by 900. I'm going to click Apply and I'm going to click OK. So here we're going to browse to the desktop because we're going to be installing Steam. So I'm going to click Browse, Desktop, and then I'm going to go for Steam Setup.exe. I'm going to click Open. I'm going to click Next. So it starts up in it starts up in the 16 by 1600 by 900 window that I previously set up. So now basically it's just Next, 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 the pre the usual Windows installation here. All right. So it's going to take some time to update. I am going to skip ahead into the video. Alright, so we're about finished with the update. As you can see, there is no text anywhere. Not to worry, we will fix that in a moment. So what I'm going to do is click the X button on the top right. It's going to close. And it should close the Wine desktop as well. Okay, it's finally closed. It took a bit longer than it was supposed to, but it did shut down initially, finally. So I'm going to go for the steam.exe here. Yep, steam.exe is the one I believe. Yep, steam.exe. I'm going to click Next. I'm going to name this Steam Space, uh, sorry, Dash Dawn of War 2. 
This is going to be the name of the shortcut. You can name this anything you want. I'm going to click Next. All right, we're done there, so I'm going to click Cancel. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to right-click Steam Dawn of War 2, and we're going to click Configure Wine. Hold up. No, we're not going to do that. We're going to click Configure up here. So by clicking Configure up here, we get this new window right here. And in Arguments, I'm going to pass it dash no dash d right so what this does is it's going to allow us to have text again in steam all right so we're going to close this and i'm going to run this once more this time around we should have text so as you can see we have text i'm going to log into an existing account all right i am going to hide this from the users you're not going to be able to see this if you can't type in all you have to do is right click and then left click again and you'll be able to type again in the text bars. Alright, I'm going to click login. It should ask for a key, the Steam Guard key. Alright, I received the message. I'm going to click next. So this is pretty self-explanatory. You should know how to do this already if you have a Steam account. Go to your email and get the access code and then put it in. Alright, so I have the key put in. And now I'm going to untick this because I only want this to be temporary. Alright, I'm going to click next. Finish. And now I should have logged into Steam. Alright, so we're finally logged in as you can see here. Now, if I'm not wrong, the current version of Wine does seem to have an issue with the Steam Store. As you can see, it doesn't load here. However, you can still access your games. just might not be possible to purchase. So, I have Dawn of War 2 here, but it's not currently installed. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to install it from the backup I have previously made. For the most of you, you're going to click install and then you're going to download it from the internet. But for me, I am going to restore from a previous backup that I made on the desktop. Let's go straight to the desktop so I can see it. Alright, going to desktop. Then go into Dawn of War 2. This is the folder. I'm going to select that. Now I'm going to click next. Now I'm going to let it restore itself. This could take some time, so I'm going to skip ahead into the video. Alright, so it's finished installing itself from the backup. I'm going to click play. I'm going to hide my product code, and I'm going to click play again. Let's see if we can get it up and running without modifying Wine in any way first. Alright, so it looks like it's starting up in what seems to be 1920 by 1080p, since this is what I previously set it at. So far so good, it looks like it does work without any sort of modification to wine whatsoever. So I'm going to skip ahead into the video to after this intro video. Just so you know, you can't skip the intro video, otherwise the game will crash. So just let it play it out. Alright, so I am in the main menu. As you can see, it's kind of bugging out in the background here. But I think I know an easy fix to that. So I'm going to go into Options. I'm going to go into Graphics. For now, I believe... The quickest way is to disable anti-aliasing. Let's see if that works. I'm going to click off, accept. There's a possibility it might crash by doing so. So far, nope. It's just restarting itself. It does this in Windows as well, so that's normal. Alright, so with anti-aliasing off, the cool background is working again. So it looks like the anti-aliasing feature doesn't really work, but that's okay. As you can see, everything here is okay. I am going to go into graphics and set it to 1600. Nope, can't seem to do that. 
Alright, so that is it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed watching and I hope this video was helpful in getting Dawn of War 2 set up on your Linux system, whether it be Ubuntu or some other platform. Now this should work on Ubuntu 14.04, 14.10 and even as far back as 12.04 so long as you have the latest play on Linux and the latest Wine versions available to you. So that is it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed watching and thanks for watching.